Hi, thanks for watching this short video on the Ecobee Smart Thermostat, currently $169.99 at Costco. Let's take a look and see what's in the box, shall we? Okay, if we look here on the box, it says it contains an Ecobee 3 Lite Smart Thermostat. That's their lightest version of their Smart Thermostat. And then a Smart Sensor and a Smart Sensor for doors and windows. That's a pretty nice package for $169, and I'll show a couple web shots uh, from Ecobee's website. Um, but one of the things you need to know is the Ecobee 3 Lite only controls one furnace, one furnace air conditioner. If you have something else like a humidifier or a dehumidifier, this is not the unit for you. So the Ecobee 3 Lite is the lightest version of Ecobee's thermostat line. It doesn't have Alexa, and it usually doesn't come with those sensors. And you can see here, it's $169.99 just for the thermostat alone. If you wanted to buy it with the sensors, well, here is that package on Ecobee's website. It's normally $220. So it's a pretty good deal to get this for $169 at Costco. All right, enough about price. Let's get into unboxing. Get this top piece out of the way. And then we can open up the box itself. Let's turn it sideways. Okay, so we'll open it up on the top level here. On the top, we've got the Ecobee itself. This is the screen that you'll have on your wall. You can look on the back side of this. You'll see there's those pins. That mounts into the mounting bracket we're going to look at in a minute and transfers the wire connections into the computer of the thermostat. The second level here has the door sensor. And then the smart sensor. That smart sensor can go in a different room away from the thermostat. That's one of the advantages of the Ecobee. And then there's an instruction manual, some good information in there. And then on this lower level, we've got, let's pull this out, uh, we've got a power adapter. This is for thermostat setups that don't have a C cable up to the existing thermostat. Most modern houses have that, so you'll be okay. Okay, next up is the mounting bracket. Now the mounting bracket has color codes for the wires that come into it. These are all the wires that control the furnace uh, from the thermostat. You can see W and C and G and Y. Uh, the website I'm showing is a great place for you to check to make sure your existing thermostat is compatible with the Ecobee. So go check that out and you'll be good to go. Okay, and then you have some screws and a mounting bracket for the sensor. And then you have, in the bottom part here, you have a bigger plate just in case the holes on your existing furnace aren't covered up by the little Ecobee bracket. And you can see these stick together really well and then the whole Ecobee control with those pins goes right into the top. So that's what it's gonna look like. Um, those are all the pieces, let's get started. Okay, I thought I'd just take a look in this uh, welcome guide here that came with the Ecobee. Um, you can see, uh, as you open it up, it does show you that you can download the Ecobee app from the App Store, that's good. And here you can see how the door sensor would work. Let's just open this up further. There's the uh, thermostat itself and the controls that would be on the thermostat. And then there's two manuals here, maybe even more. Um, one's in English, so that's good. And, uh, and then there's one that's in, I think that's French. Yeah, manual de installation. So that uh, goes through the process of hooking up your Ecobee. Um, and then there's also labels. And these are actually, so when you pull your old thermostat off and you're pulling them out of those, those wire spots, right? It might not look just like this. Mine just has it all on one side. Um, but these color markers might not match the color of your actual wires. And so when you do this, and you're pulling those out one at a time, you can take these labels off and wrap them around the end of the wires. I think they show that in the manual. Okay, and since we now know what we need in the box, let's go turn off the power to our furnace so we can start installing this Ecobee. Okay, here we are out in the garage in the circuit breaker. I have two circuit breakers I need to turn off. One is for the air conditioner. There it is, AC. So I'll turn that one off. And the other is for the furnace itself. And so that's up here. There we go, furnace. So we'll turn that one off too. 21, good. Well. Okay, so we're in the app store. We'll just search for Ecobee. We'll find the Ecobee app. And there it is. We'll hit the get button there and let this download so we're ready to use it once we have the thermostat installed. Here is my old thermostat. Uh, works just great. It's a little Honeywell, but I'm gonna replace it. So if I grab it and pull, you can see the bottom starts to slide out. I'll just come over here so you can see. Um, the top gets a little stuck, so I take a screwdriver 
and just push a little bit down on these tabs. I'm not sure if I can do this one-handed or not. Whoop, look at that, just came right off. And you can see for me, um, I've got those plugs all on one side, right? And the color's pretty close to match. You probably wanna take a picture of this before you do anything more, and that way you know uh, what your wire settings were. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then we'll get started. Okay, I put my phone on a tripod and lit up the panel a bit so we can look at it a little closer. Notice on my new panel, there's a little level at the bottom. That's really nice. That way I'll make sure that I've got it straight up and down. You notice too that the screw holes are top and bottom. And on here, they're left and right. Okay, all right, left and right. Yeah, and, um, and so they're a little wider too, so I'm concerned that I'm not gonna cover that hole well with the new panel. If you look in where the wires are connected, you notice there's screws, little flathead screws in there. I'm gonna have to remove those one at a time with the screws. On the new one, they slide in the side, but um, they really just push that little tab down. So if I need to pull it out, I just push the tab down all the way and I can pull the wire back out. A little bit simpler than the old way. All righty, so now I've got all the wires off. There, C, R, G, Y, and W. Got them all marked, that's good. Now I can take this plate off and you can see I've got two Phillips head screws. So I'll do that next. Okay, wow, those were some pretty long screws. Um, real long screws. I guess the builders didn't really put uh, stoppers in or anything. So I'll get these wires out. Again, just want to be careful of that C wire. And i uh, got a pretty ugly hole here in the back. So just thinking about that, if I bring up my new cover, um, it's going to not cover all the bad paint and this ugly hole very well, so I'm probably going to use a bigger plate. If I have that Ecobee back plate and I want to use the larger back plate, I can just take this piece and put it right here and it sort of snaps in. A bit of a snap. Well, maybe not. Maybe it just rests in there. Actually, it seems to be on there pretty good. It's not falling out. So that's what we'll use. Let's get back to the wall. Okay, so here's the, here's the unit. Now, I noticed that the paint was sticking up a little bit. You can tell we've had this wall painted before. That's why it's so different underneath. Um, I noticed the paint was kind of sticking up on this edge, and when I laid this in to begin with, it was rocking a little bit. So I just used my thumb and kind of brushed down, and that seems to have flattened it out pretty good. A lot of discoloration and stuff, but once we get this on here, it won't matter. So just put all the wires through the hole. Yeah, I'm really watching that C wire. There we go. And uh, and then you need a pencil. <clears throat> and uh, if you go grab a pencil out of a drawer, make sure that it's got a tip. You can't really do this without a tip. Um, the first one I grabbed was broken. So um, I'm just going to lay that out. I think you can see the level down here below. That looks pretty level. So I'm just going to mark down here and I'm going to mark, whoa, don't knock my camera over. I'm going to mark up here. So I've got some marks on the wall and then I can pull this back off again. All right, there I've got my marks and I know where to drill my holes. All right, here's my set of screws. I'll just open this little package. Get all my pieces out. These are uh, anchors. So this is an anchor for the wall. And uh, when you put a screw into this, um, once you put this into the wall, it, uh, it expands. This bottom part will expand out and it'll keep the screw from coming out. So your screw goes into that. So you have to drill a hole. You have to drill a hole for these ankles first. Um, this, um, this is not for the thermostat. This is for the smart sensor. So we'll just set that aside. This is my drill set. So you can see here, uh, instructions say to use a 3 8 inch drill. So that's what I've got. I'll just go ahead and pull it out so I can use that to drill the holes. All right, I got my two new holes drilled, one's here and one's here. Now, I did that on my drill just about that far, which is a little longer, I think, than the actual anchor. And I could have gone further, but I started feeling like maybe I was hitting this wire. And I certainly don't want to, you know, cause a score into this wire housing. So, um, so I just backed off. That should be good. Let's see if we can hammer in the, the anchors. Okay, I got my two anchors in. 
and I'll just let you see a little closer. They are hammered as close to the wall as I can get them. That's uh, nice and flat and flush. That's what you want. So now we're ready to mount the Ecobee. So let's see here. Okay, just a little progress. We've got the mounting bracket on nice and tight. The wires are ready to be put into the right posts. So let's get that done. Okay, so I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit. We can see, let me grab my pen. We can see um, RC is R, right? G is green. Y, Y1 is in Y1. Um, C is the blue wire, that's right there. And W is W1. So those are all in the right spot. Looks like that's nice and level. Time to put that Ecobee on. So just line it up and pop it into place. And uh, when I do that, if I go turn the power on, I should see the Ecobee light up. Okay, I'm in the garage. I'll flip the switch and there we go. Should be turning on right now. Okay, and so that's pretty much it. There is some registration and setting up the thermostat through a menu, um, but I think you guys can figure all that out. Thanks for watching this video. I uh, hope you found it uh, useful, and if you bought the Echo Bee, I think uh, I think you're really going to enjoy it. That's it. Take care.